Proverbs 29. Verse 18. Verse 18. Where there is no wisdom, no revelation of God and his word, the people are unrestrained, but happy and blessed is he who keeps the law of God. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to preach a message I was sharing with a group yesterday. I heard this uh, message. Can you just write the word of God? The word of God. The Bible says, where there is no vision, revelation of God, Well. People are restrained. There will be no control. But happy and blessed is he who keeps the law. Today I want to tell you that your destiny is determined by the word of God. Where you are people want to move forward you move the word of God if you want to be what God wants you to be you need the word of God if you want to know why you are created why you are existing why you need the word of God why there is no revelation Revelation is the word from God. The word from God comes to direct you to where God has directed you. To put you where God wants you to be. I'm just concerned that we have got Christians who don't stay in the word. Who don't need the revelation of the word. Many of us, yes, we need prophecy. I'm not talking about prophecy. Here. I'm talking about revelation of the word. If there is no revelation of the word, there is no Direction. There is no sight. There is no vision. So your direction is from the word of That's God. Why the Bible says That's it. That's why the Bible says happy and blessed are those who find that word and keep it. Happy and blessed are the happiness of blessing uh, where you keep the word of God. If you keep the word of God, the word itself has got its own nature to take you where God wants you. Can we read Proverbs 28 verse 9? Mm -hmm. It says, He who turns his ear from listening to the Lord will have even his prayer is repulsed. Even his prayer is repulsed. In other words, whoever does not have the word is a There is no communication. We have with God Can you see the word of God us where God is. So that we can be able to communicate with God. You cannot communicate with God I know there are many people who love to pray and pray and pray. But without the word, that prayer is repulsive. I was seeing 
Nekibona tabatela di balu wadi lo yungu kenge la ya Timothy wabu bedi. Timothy wabu bedi three sixteen. What what is the work? Mishumo. Of the word of God. Yali nchula mudimu yona ili ureki ingi. Second Timothy three sixteen. Timothy wabu bedi three sixteen. Read. All Scripture is God's breath, given by divine inspiration, and is profitable for instruction, for conviction of sin. For correction of error and restoration of obedience. For training in righteousness, learning to live in conformity to God's will, both publicly and privately, behaving honorably with personal integrity and moral courage. There are three things there. What the word of God does there. The first one is to reprove you. To show you when you get off. To show you when you get off. When you read the word of God, you can know when you are out of the way. When you are going out, the word of God can bring you back. Number two, correction. When you get unto out of the word of God. Correction to get you back. The word of God is there to correct you. To show, number one is to show you. Number two is to correct you. How to come back to the right path and put where you belong. Number three is for instruction in righteousness. It's to show you to stay in the path. The word of God wants you to stay in the right path. The word of God becomes a light of your feet. The word of God becomes a light of your feet. You cannot be lost. You cannot stumble. When you have the word of God, you walk where God wants you to walk. I was telling the people of the group that Satan does not fight coming on the side. Satan faces you direct. So now when you are moving, what stops you is not on the side. It's in front of you. It's there to make you to get out of the road. To leave the path. So now the word of God makes you to stay there and teaches you to move forward. We need to move forward. We want to move forward. Don't look at material. Don't look at the money. Don't look at your position. Look unto the word of God. Because the word of God makes you to move forward. When you are moving forward by the word, take what the Bible you says. You take the instruction and you obey. The Bible says when you obey, you will be set above, above all nations. It means there is a promise when you take the word of God. You won't die there. There will be a time when God will be lifted up. He will lift you up. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Look at this verse. In Romans 1, we read from verse 16. I just want us to go there. The word of God put us on the right path. Go on the right path. You cannot go out. What Paul says on verse 16. Read. I am not ashamed of the gospel, uh -huh. for it is the power of God for salvation from his wrath and punishment mm. to everyone who believes in Christ as Savior, to the Jews first and also to the Greek. Can you see Paul 
says, I'm not ashamed. Why Paul say this? Why Paul Because when you take scripture to become part of it, sometimes it is possible to leave and you find that there's no progress. Even Paul faced this. There was a time where he had legs. But he told himself, I'm not ashamed of what I'm holding. Because what I'm holding is not money. It's not success. It is power. We need power to be what God wants us to say, my friend, you cannot move without power. You cannot reach your destiny without power. The power is in the word. I was reading Ephesians 6. I'm just reading Ephesians 6. Verse 1. 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 Verse 7. Verse 1. It says, uh -huh. rendering service with good will mm. as to the Lord and not only to men. Carry on. Knowing that whatever good thing each one does, he will receive this back from the Lord whether he is slave or free. Listen, for you to still able to carry on doing good, you need the word of God. Because there are many temptations that are coming to take you out yeah, of the way. Rendering, doing good, and not only to men, carrying on doing good, it is not as easy as you thought. There are many things you are going through. But sometimes you can get out of the way because you are not ruled by the word of God. The word of God channel you to be subjected to what you are supposed to do. And you find yourself doing it honestly in front of those who think they are pressing you. The word of God is just there to make you an instrument that cannot be destroyed. I don't know what you are facing, but you have the word of God. You can still shame your enemy. You can still prove your opponents. When you are not fighting them, you still the word. We have got a gift that cannot be taken from us. That makes us to operate where other people cannot operate. Which is the word of the living I just wonder why we have the Bible that we don't read. I wonder why we have the Bible in the church. Because everything is in the word. Where you are working, you need the word of God. You can render a service when other people say we can't, when you do it with when joy, because the word of God is in you. you. Hear me say, Amen. Why are you affected? Why are you affected? Why are you offended? Is when now you don't you lack the word of God. Your character to change. You know, you get to change to the direction of what you're doing. What change to what you're supposed to be doing? To change to what you're supposed to be doing. To change to what you're supposed to be doing. To change to what you're supposed to be doing. To change to what you're supposed to be doing. To change to what you're supposed to be doing. To change to what you're supposed to be doing. To change to what you're supposed to be doing. To change to what the word of God makes you to operate the, the way, way God, God wants you to operate. You you me, say, I hear you. Let, let's read Hebrews 4 verse 12. It says what? Hebrews 4 verse 12. It says what? It says, For the word of God is living and it's active living. Uh -huh. and full of power. Full of power. Making it operative 
energizing and effective. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating as far as the division of the soul and spirit. The completeness of a person and of both joints and marrow, the deepest part of our nature, exposing and judging the very thoughts and the intentions of the heart. Did you hear that? Likwele. The word of God can penetrate inside me. It reaches places where your friend can it. reach. It's there to make you to dissect. So that you'll be able to speak what is there. I just want to try to simplify that verse. The word of God enters you and fights everything that exalts itself against the word of God. It will nullify everything at court. You know, if the Bible says it's power, Lyric mata to more than two edged shots. O fiti sharp eh eh li li sabula elu ching ma ma hamabe. The work of a shot. Moshuma wa sabula kiingi. Is to cut. Kuriipa. There are some things that must be cut. Ona lidi lo di suncho di ripi we There are some characters that must be removed. Ona le mehwe mehwe toko di ripi we. Re toka linchi la moti. I'm sitting with you, I can tell you that how far you like the word. Ha ki du chili wena nkano uvu chaure wena utoka lincho fita kai. Me, I can tell you that this week. Nka utalo se chaure wena ina. You read the word of God maybe sometimes. Wala la na kuchedi mwe uba mitayo yote. Because, because what you speak. Ka uba ntabache di chwankara le gano lao. What you speak out. Tabache uji bole lao. It will be something from the heart. So when it's coming from your heart, where all the thoughts and the intentions are stored. So the word of God goes to and check your intention. And check your thoughts. And reveal them to you that you cannot say this. Say this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Why some of you, you have got short temper. Because the word of God didn't reach them. When, when the word of God reaches them, it will just cut off the short temper. You will search to be angry. You won't find it. You will search to be angry. You will search to be angry. You will search to be angry. You will search a word to insult. You won't find it. The word of God, it will be angry. It will be angry. It will be angry. It will be angry. What you release from your mouth will be the words. You release power to nullify what you are hearing. Do you know that you are the product of what you are hearing? You are the product of what you are hearing. The way you are, you are the product of what you are hearing. Now you have recovered the way you are wearing, you had that and you reacted that way. Why did you take other clothes? Why was you had that you must take the clothes that you are wearing? It shows that the clothes you are wearing are spiritual. It's coming from the deep down. 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 I don't know if you're hearing me. So it. for you to wear the way you want to wear, you need the word of God. Because the word of God will enter inside and try to shut the something and remove it from the heart. Then you can speak the word of God and it will be removed from the heart. Then you can speak the word of God and it will be removed from the heart. Then you can speak the word of God do things without, without wrong intention. When you say you people you are doing things with any intention. You want to prepare why? Because the word of God, God is not penetrating. When, when the word of God is inside you, there is nothing you do to show off. Tell about, there's nothing you do to show off. To show off when the word of God is in you. 
Le pusha me hopolo ye mewe. To shuman ala we ipapeja. La roba le we hohomosha. La dira ruwe na ube mutu wa sitwa edi. Uto wa go wili nchi na mutu. What God wants you to be. If you are here, say I hear. Uh, there are many people who are here. You just need the word of God. You need the word of God. You need the word of God. How you, eat, how you dress. How you react. In whatever you do, you need the word of God. If you are hearing me say I hear. Look what is happening in 1 Thessalonians 2. 13. To read that is very important. First Thessalonians 2 30. First Thessalonians 2 30. Uh -huh. Read. It says, And we also thank God always for this. That when you were also thank God continually for this. That when you received the word of God concerning salvation, which you heard from us, you welcomed it not as the word of mere men. But as it truly is the word of God, which is effectually at work in you who believe, exercising its inherent supernatural power in those of faith. Did you hear that? Amen. The word of God, when Paul was talking about it, he says, when you receive it, when we were preaching, you didn't receive it like you are just receiving it. Now it's in you. And it's working inside you. Because you have got its own nature. Of making you powerful. Making you to be supernatural. The word of God when it enters you. It exercises its inheritance. It brings light in you. It makes you to be more powerful. I'm, I'm quite sure now you know why you are weak. I, you know I know some people when they when in the evening every night past 7 to 8 Past seven to eight. They start to look at you like this. Yeah. They begin to look like this. Always they put water there to drink. Eh? Waken themselves. If they say it's past eight. I past eight. They will be looking at you with one eye. When this one opens, ah, another one goes. They are tired. They are so tired. If they sleep, they will be snoring. The word of God, when it's in you, they sleep. Won't come easy. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because it has got his you operate in a different way. I don't know if you are here. I see the word of God in you. Working in your life this It will work in your life this week. Sometimes you find that the thing that was coming to break you. You find that when it reaches your ear, sentiment comes. Another brother was telling me that ah, you and Mama, you have met a lot of people. He said, if it was me, I was supposed to have run away. And the word of God is said, it will bring strength that you don't have. And open your eyes to see the future. Remember what the word of God says. Um, if you remember about faith, Hebrews 11 verse 1. I want to show you something there. This is the verse you know. I just want us to understand. It says what? Hebrews 11 verse. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Verse 1. Uh -huh. It says, now faith is the substance, meaning title, date, confirmation. Of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and evidence of things not seen. 
the conviction of their reality. Faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. Did you hear that? Liquile. Romans 10 verse 17. Maroma 10 17. Let us read. It says, so faith comes from hearing what is told. And what is heard comes by the preaching of the message concerning Christ. Stop there. <laughs> Did you ever meet faith? Did you, when you are you are going to shop right, did you, you ever meet faith? How on she we are going to shop right? The Bible says faith comes. To melt low. It means faith moves. But this faith comes when you are reading the word. How I know Valali in Chilamutin. What is faith? Which is coming from the way. Faith comes from the way. When it comes, it makes you to see things that have not been done, that they are done. In other words, faith, when I want to define faith for you, is the ability of God to produce what is needed. It's faith for you. So, now, the ability of God to produce what is needed is from the word. When you receive the word, the ability of God comes, comes to you. You cannot find the ability of God from somewhere except from his word. God cannot just send forth his way. He doesn't go and come back with nothing. The ability of God's power, the power of God comes from his way. I wonder where do you get power? I wonder where you get encouragement. This is the time of taking your Bible close. This is the time of studying the Bible and keep the word. I don't know if you're hearing me. Because faith comes. Faith comes. The ability of God comes to you. Without the word, there's nothing that God can do. That's why the Bible says That's you cannot please God without faith. You cannot please God without staying in the word. The Bible says if you abide in his word, when you ask anything, you will do it. I don't know if you're hearing that. Today, stay in his word. You cannot be a Christian without his word. someone that uh, one of the reasons why our church today people go and play. Look at the church of the white people. They don't even do deliverance. <laughs> they preach the word of God. Some people are blessed. But white people they go there they Preach the word. Preach the word. Preach the word. And the service will be closed. The service will be closed. And people are blessed. They hold the word their hand. The word works in them. Works in their lives. Sometimes also it's very bad. But if we are preaching the word, how are we going to know this is the word without deliverance? Without because the word of God is power. Sometimes we have to question to reach the word. Yes, the word of God will be preached. But without prophecy, now without deliverance, how are we going to know the word is having power? I don't know if you're hearing this. Me. This is the time that the word of God in us must produce fruit. How can you preach the word? You are screaming and you are shouting 
There's no healing. Nothing, no prophecy. This shows that this is where are preaching is not from the Bible. I don't know if you're hearing Because it. it's from the Bible, it must work in you first. So that it work on others. Today the word of God is about to work in your life. I say it's about to work in your life. It's about to work in your life. If you are hearing, say amen. God bless you.